Hi! I didn't even do an intro. Um, welcome to today's video. I am doing a haul of all the stuff that we have bought so far for our home. I will do more hauls as we buy more things and whatever, but um, we bought, you know, kind of a good amount of stuff, so I wanted to do a haul for you guys. Um, so that's what I'm doing in this video today. Um, I'm going to switch to my phone though, just to make things easier, so um, I'm going to do that. Sorry, the quality is going to kind of change, but I think it'll be for the best, just to make this easier. So, let's go ahead and get into the haul. Hey guys, sorry for the change in quality and angle and whatever. I just think this will be easier, so that way I can make sure everything's in focus and it doesn't have to be longer of a video, because then i got to focus. Anyways, it's, it's mainly so that I don't have to edit as much, so... Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start showing you what we got. Um, we got a lot of really cool, well, I don't know if really cool, but I mean stuff. We got stuff. Anyways, let me go ahead and just, I'm going to start showing you now. Um, so first off, we bought a pack. This is a 50 pack of the like black velvet hangers. Um, I really wanted to have all matching hangers. Um and the velvet ones i know they're kind of basic but they're just the easiest to work with since they are velvet they help with not slipping off but also they're really affordable and they also look really like classy and stuff so that's why i went with those ones um i wanted to do gray at first but i figured for sake of being able to find more hangers for that being easier um, I went with the black because I know the black they sell everywhere and the colored ones or like any other color basically they're a little bit harder to find. Gray is not a lot hard to find I just I didn't want to have to like stress out about finding the same color hangers because my goal is to have all of my hangers match so that's why I went with the black one so we bought a 50 pack of those um, obviously I'm sure we'll probably need more in the future but just to start we did a 50 pack so that's what we the, one of the first things we got and I'm really excited about it. That's one of my favorite things that we bought. Okay, next up we bought a 16 um, piece set of um, glasses. So here's what they look like. They're like round, but I don't know. They have like a pretty detail to them like at the bottom. I hope you guys can see that. Like it's, it's like a... I don't know, like a, like little lines or like sculpting. I don't know how to explain it. But anyways, they come with eight of like the 12 ounce glasses and then another eight of the 16 ounce glasses. So you get like the short and the taller ones. And so I just think these ones were really cute. So we went with these ones. Okay, next thing we did, this is something Charlie picked out. Um, yeah. Side note, our kitchen is going to be, the color scheme is going to be like a turquoise and red. You guys will see. I'll kind of try to show you. Not a lot of the things we bought um, showcase that very well, but other things that we're planning on buying and stuff are going to showcase that very well. So um, bear with it. You guys probably won't really see the outcome until uh, we get the house, but um Anyways, regardless, that has nothing to do with this, but I kind of wanted like a pretty nice set, but Charlie is very, Charlie used to be a cook um, at a really like, not fancy, I don't know how to explain it. Anyways, he used to be, he used to like cook food for a living basically at, well, not really like a living, I don't know how to explain it. Basically, he, he's been, he's gone through training to learn how to cook for a job. And so... He said that this knife set looked very good, so that's why we went with it. But it's not, like, pretty and girly, which is fine. Like, this is has two, so, like, he, he doesn't want girly. Um, but you know me. I am big on pretty and girly things. So this isn't my style, but um, he says that they look very good, so we went with these. The It's, like, a professional knife set, and it has this cool, like, acrylic display. And so you get like all of these and then you get steak knives on the other side, which I recently found out that this one came with steak knives. We actually bought a separate pack of steak knives. It's not a lot, but anyways. So this comes with a sharpener for the blades, which is really awesome. Comes with kitchen scissors, 
different types of knives and then a peeler like a potato peeler a vegetable peeler so it is a pretty good set though not gonna lie with like all the stuff it comes with i just um for the sake of like aesthetic that's where i'm iffy about it but anyways as far as the set and like the the use of them i think they're gonna be great but just as far as the aesthetic that's where it doesn't really um look appealing to me but they do look good as far as usage so we got these okay so other things we got some aren't really exciting but there's stuff you need you know what i mean so of course we got like brushes for the bathrooms um we got this really pretty like it's stainless steel like kind of like a um like a champagne brass color i hope that makes sense and like um silver stainless color anyways got this so our extension cords we really got these because they were on sale um but of course you know extension cords are something i use a lot so like i don't i feel like you know they're gonna get used but basically they were on sale so that's what's like we didn't feel like we needed them but they were on sale so we got them if that makes sense and then i'm really excited about these we got blackout curtains in like the turquoisey they're coming up really gray on camera okay they look a little bit better they're more like the picture like the picture is showing up pretty good but like the actual color on camera is showing up weird they're like that light blue color so um we got two packs of these and love that they are blackout they also say that they're like noise reduction and energy saving don't know what that means but yes really excited that they're blackout curtains though because i have blackout curtains in my room but i have one in the middle that's sheer kind of drives me nuts i really like blackout curtains so really excited to have these oh the shade is called sea glass that's the shade and then we got some of these for our shower curtain in our guest bathroom our bathroom isn't going to need a shower curtain because our shower has a door um but our guest bathroom does so we got some of these for our guest bathroom Another thing we got for our guest bathroom that I thought was actually pretty cool, Clorox makes um, like uh, like liners for the shower. So we got a blue one because we're doing a very dark blue in that um, in that bathroom. This is called Midnight Blue, uh, but I just thought that it was good because it says that it like um, helps with uh, mild dew resistant agents. Um, it has suction cups and magnets for them and it's rust resistant for the metal um and so it just helps keep it a little bit more sanitary one thing that really grosses me out is when shower curtains get like holes in them and they get mold and then it uh, just i don't even want to think about it anyways so i had to go with this one because i was like yeah that sounds that sounds very very good because i don't know shower curtains kind of gross me out so I'm happy that this one is supposed to help stay with the cleanliness and whatnot. So not that anyone I don't think is honestly going to shower in there ever. I really don't see because honestly, our like guest rooms or our extra rooms, we aren't going to have like beds in there and things like that. Like we're going to turn them into functional rooms that um, him and I are going to use. So like I just... I don't plan on having guests and I don't plan, like I plan on having people come over but not like stay over or need to take a shower. Um, so, okay, the other thing I got that I'm, I think are so pretty, I love Pioneer Woman. I think her stuff is beautiful. So I got these Pioneer Woman canisters. Look at how stunning they are. I wish, you know what, for the sake of this video, I'm going to see if I can pull one out to show you. Okay, I'm gonna pull one out to show you. So here's the lid. So again, I know it's showing up a little bit more green on camera, but we're doing this super light blue color. And here is what one of them looks like. Look at how pretty. I just think they're like gorgeous. Like they look so like, like cute. Like I don't know, like, ah, okay, this is scary like silicone i'm scared okay i don't want to break it so i'm not going to try to put it in i was going to try to show you but this silicone thing is really thick 
and it's scaring me so we're just um we're not gonna do it look at the bottom it's freaking gorgeous it says pioneer woman and it has like a butterfly anyways i just think her stuff is cute so i went with it last two curtains again we're going for a darker blue theme um this is that shower curtain for that other room so it has like a mix of like the midnight blue and like the sea glass color and then these blackout sheets uh i mean blackout curtains are these blackout yeah these blackout curtains that are the darker shade are gonna be for our living room because our couch is gonna be the sea glass green and i didn't want i wanted something to contrast so we're doing like different shades of the blues with the red i it's gonna look cute i saw it on tv the other day anyways on like one of those like home improvement shows so i know it's gonna look good to like hear me out you know but anyways that's shower curtain that's the thing so that's that Alrighty, guys so we got one of these bath mats um this is gonna be for our master bathroom and then like i said our guest bathroom is gonna be that midnight blue so like darker so we got another bath mat for our guest, ba guest bathroom this one is also smaller of a mat because that bathroom is also smaller so but anyways they're like the same type of like texture um so they're a must have okay so again then we also got some towels again this is for that guest bathroom that's going to be this really dark like navy or midnight blue whatever you want to call it and then we got some different type of towels for our bedroom like they're all like the same color scheme but look a little different but i pulled this one out to show you because this is like the best representation that i could show you as far as like the mix of the blues that we're going to do so you have that like darker teal blue the sea glass blue and then like like the teal blues like these are like we're incorporating like different shades of blue i hope that makes sense but this towel oh no caught on my necklace and it snagged it i'll find scissors and fix it oh there's scissors right here wow i wonder how long these scissors have been sitting here because i've been looking for these scissors everywhere wow okay anyways i just felt like this towel best showed all the different like blues we're doing throughout the house so yeah I guess this towel is also kind of a good representation. So again, the dark turquoise, the navy, the light blue, we're doing like this color scheme. I hope that makes sense. But I'm gonna try to show you the different colors. So again, midnight blue or whatever for the guest bathroom and this like teal mint turquoisey blue for our bathroom. So these are the colors. All right, I saved my favorite stuff for last out of the things that we've bought so far. So first off, got two cutting boards here's what these look like i got a bigger one and a smaller one for our kitchen so again i hope you guys can see a good representation of our color scheme going on and i know that these are like not part of the decoration it's the paper but see how these strawberries are like pretty red they're picking up super red on camera it seems like so see it next to this blue like that's going to be the color scheme for our kitchen um so we're getting everything like those colors but today you're more seeing the blue because we kind of that's just like easier to find and everything like that but we are doing the reds as well like my espresso machine is red charlie's keurig is red we're gonna get a red microwave like things like that to like incorporate pops of red in there so um but yeah so this turquoise tealy blue and red is the color scheme we also got a soap dispenser we're about to show you that it's that stainless steel to mass match with like the brushes and stuff so there's that kitchen things we got this like um it's a garlic chopper and then this thing is like a herb stripper um so we got these just as like kitchen supplies slash utensils we didn't really focus on getting them matching the kitchen because they're probably going to be in a drawer anyways. So, but I just wanted something of this nature to help make things like that easier because, you know, I'm a big, like, my mom is a big, like, Pampered Chef person. So we have, like, all the things that, like, Pampered Chef comes out with, like, as far as, like, choppers and garlic things and, like, all the things that are, like, like, jar openers, like, all the things that are, like, 
you don't need in a kitchen but they like make things easier so that's why i'm big on stuff like this so i really wanted stuff like this for that but um yeah so just thought i'd show you because that was something else that we got the other day so all right and then we got a bunch of measuring cups again we got them with the red writing to go with our thing so we have this one which is kind of like a tablespoon like like measuring spoons in a way but in a cup form so this goes up to i think it goes up to half a cup yeah it goes up to half a cup and then we have one cup we have two cups and then we have four cups i really like having different sizes i have these at home like in the home i live in now and having different sizes of like measuring utensils is just really helpful when things ask for like let's say like four cups of something like if you're making something really big or whatever um it's nice to just put it all in one container instead of having to do like one cup but do it four times like to have it to just do it like once like pour the ingredient in one time it's just i know it's like it's one of those things it's like mm, doesn't make that big of a difference but just kind of feels easier and less like I don't know less like time consuming but um it's not it's not that big of a deal but since they had all these sizes at the store we went ahead and got one of each size because they all matched and everything so it was just kind of like perfect to get them all the same in a way so got these all right and then we just got a salt and pepper shaker that already came with salt and pepper which is really nice usually when I get these I'm really bad at like I don't know, I feel like finding this big of salt and like these um, pepper granules is really hard. So typically, usually when these run out, I just throw them away and buy new ones. So I don't know if I'll keep up with filling these up or if I'll just throw them away and buy new ones that are already filled like this and just keep going on that way. We'll see how it goes, but these are cute for now. I like that they're, they look really sleek and nice. So anyways, we bought these don't know if we'll end up keeping them long term because again like I just said I'll probably throw them away I just buy new ones but we will see all right and then we got a can opener and bottle opener and I got one of these silicone baking mats I this was not exactly what I thought it was apparently I don't know how this works so it's like has like measurements on it and apparently it's like a way of like cooking like on a mat with like using like the lines and everything to like measure things and do things i don't know i've never done that i thought that it was just like a baking mat like one that you put on the bottom of a cookie sheet to like replace parchment paper so you don't have to buy like parchment paper and you can just reuse this and wash it that's what i thought this was and it's kind of that like it says that you can put it in the oven up to 400 degrees but it's not exactly what i like i don't know i don't know if this is like technically that i don't know but anyways, I have this now and I kind of don't really know how to use it. And it's kind of not what I thought it was when I bought it. So that's that. But I have this. Um, so yeah, and at least it's the color that we like are putting in our house. But yeah, anyways, so that's the story behind this one. Um, if any of you guys want to comment below how you use this or if I it's not really if it's self-explanatory maybe I'll figure it out I don't know but yeah anyways that's that <laughs> all right so like I told you guys before um didn't realize that there was steak knives in that set so we bought more steak knives and I like these ones better anyways just because of the color and like the handles are like that soft matte and so I'm so happy that we got these because I think they're really really cute and so yeah, not mad at all. They feel, I wish you guys could like feel them. They're like so soft, like the handles. Um, but yeah, so anyways, again, this is our first home. So like, if we don't like something, that's okay. We don't have to get it at our, in our next home and we can give it away or throw it away or do whatever we need to do. So um, I'm kind of fine. I'm kind of experimenting in a way. So yeah, anyways, that's that. Got a... Uh, four piece of steak knives, which it's just Charlie and I. So, you know, maybe if we have two guests or if not, we obviously have more steak knives. 
in there. I think it comes with like eight in that other set that I showed you. So lots of steak knives happening. Okay, like I told you guys, I love Pioneer Woman. Her stuff is so freaking cute. And so I got the cutest measuring spoons ever. I know I showed you like the little cup thing. I think you can see it on the dresser right there that I got that is kind of like a measuring spoon, but I wanted actual measuring spoons as well for when I'm not doing liquid, like when I'm doing flour or something else. Like if I'm doing like, you know how something asks for like two tablespoons of margin or whatever, then I'll use the cup if I need to like melt butter or something like that. Um, but anyways, I wanted something, I wanted like actual measuring spoons. So long story short, look at how cute these are. They're little flowers. They're so cute. So see like the red and the blue. That's our color scheme. You can see it up here as well. Um, kind of inspired by Pioneer Woman, honestly, but also inspired by one, Charlie and I really like blue. Two, like I said, our Nespresso machine and our Keurig just so happen to be red. And so, um, yeah, anyways, that's that. So, super cute. I'm so excited to use these. The only thing I'm really scared about is that they are um, like... A breakable material so that kind of makes me nervous but it'll be fine they're like made out of like stones or whatever you know anyways it's fine they'll be fine I really like them they're so cute okay anyways so we have a tablespoon a teaspoon half a teaspoon half a fourth of a teaspoon you know the normal anyways super cute really excited about these okay then look at these look at these they're little cups, but they're jars from Pioneer Woman. These don't really match. I mean, the lids do, because they have like that blue and then they have like some red over here. But these are more for me. Like these are a personal thing because I've seen them over and over again. I think they're so freaking cute. And so I asked Charlie if we could get some and he said, yeah, that can be your thing or whatever. And so I got them and look at how cute they are. They're like a pink glass. I don't know if it's showing up right on camera, but it's like a baby, like a light mauvey pink glass. And then they have flowers all over and they're little jars and they're gonna be so cute with coffee. So that's why I got these, I love them. These are one of my favorite things we got. Okay, last couple of things I'm gonna show you. One, we got a dish drying mat because these are important. So got one of these. Um, two, we got some like oven mitts type things with also the like these things, you know, for taking things out of the oven. And then we got some dish towels in our colors. So that's that. That is all we have bought so far. It's honestly kind of a lot. Like we have like the kitchen, covered a lot we have our two bathrooms covered and curtains <laughs> so pretty good we're getting places you know it's gonna take some time that's why we are starting now so we can keep moving on forward um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will see you guys in my next video which will either be home related or it'll be wedding related because that's my life right now um or it might be something else if I decide to do that, but I, I doubt it because this is this is what's happening right now, house and wedding. So I'm really excited. It's really awesome. I'm really grateful for everything. Um, yeah, I don't know. Give, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want to see more house content or if you want to follow along our wedding journey as well because those two things are happening right now. So I am filming it to remember it forever. Um, Alrighty, guys. Well, I will see you in my next video. Bye.